but let's just go ahead and do these then. Um, so negative 8 equals 16 cosine x. So I'm going to get the cosine x all alone. So first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 16. So I've now got negative 1 half plus cosine x. So then from here, well, it, cosine of what gives me a value of negative 1 half? In other words, cosine's width. So this distance is, this x value is negative 1 half. So here's one of my angles. And I have another angle that would be here that would also work. And uh, since negative 1 half is on my um, unit circle, I could just look it up on the unit circle. Or I could go, you know, inverse cosine negative 1 half give me a decimal approximation. But this first angle right here is, is 2 pi over 3. Um, so since that since so since that one is 2 pi since that one is 2 pi over 3, um, I know that it's since it's cosine, the other angle, this angle that's right here, this angle that's right here, um, is gonna be 2 pi minus that 2 pi over 3. So one of my answers is 2 pi over 3. My other answer is 2 pi minus that. And if I think about 2 pi, that's 6 pi over 3. 6 pi uh, over 3 minus 2 pi over 3 is 4. And both of those would be plus 2 pi n. And you could do it in degrees as well. So there's that one. Now this next one, uh, root 3 equals 2. It's cosine of x minus pi over 2. Uh, notice on, on this last one, what I did was I tried to get cosine alone, and then I inverse cosine, and I found both angles. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So divide by 2. So now I've got 3 over 2 is cosine x minus pi over 2. So this x minus pi over 2, this are the these are the values that if I cosine them, they'll give me root 3 over 2. So again, you could use inverse cosine, um, you know, some distance root 3 over 2. Finding some angle that has that distance root three over two. Just by theta. So theta is this whole thing. This whole thing is going to equal the two angles. So I could inverse cosine it. I could use my unit circle. Um, either way, this is pi over six. But there's another angle that has the same width. This angle right here. And again, it's going to be two pi minus that angle that um, that I just figured out. If I think about this in sixths, this is 12 pi over 6, which is 11 pi 6. So notice I've got these two angles, uh, pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. Now, this is equal to those things. So x minus pi over 2 is equal to those things. So if I want to solve for x, I'm going to have to do one more step, which is add that pi over 2 to everything. So pi over 2. Plus pi over 2. Let me think about this real quick. Well, pi over 2 is what? 3 pi over 6. So that would be 3 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3. And then if I think about 11 pi over 6 plus pi over 2, again, 3 pi over 6, 11, 12, 13, 14 pi 6, which is 7 pi over 3. And then they're both plus my. All right. I hope those help.